I also wanted to say welcome to our visitors and also to those of you that are online. So we are gathering. The Holy Spirit calls us as the people of God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who greets us this and every season, whose word never fails, whose promise is sure. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned. We have hurt our community. We have squandered your blessings. We have hoarded your bounty. In the name of Jesus, forgive us and grant us your mercy. Righteous God, we confess that we have sinned. We have failed to be honest. We have lacked the courage to speak. We have spoken falsely. In the name of Jesus, forgive us and grant us your mercy. God is a cup of cold water when we thirst. God offers boundless grace when we fail. Claim the gift of God's mercy. We are freed and forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, generous and supreme, your loving son lived among us, instructing us in the ways of humility and justice. Continue to ease our burdens and lead us to serve alongside of him, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. You may be seated. The first reading for today is from the prophet Ezekiel, the 34th chapter, verses 11 through 16 and 20 through 24. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will sort them out. As shepherds sort out their flocks when they are among scattered sheep, so I will sort out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and bring them into their own land and I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the water courses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall be lie down in good grazing land and they shall feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep and I will make them lie down says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strays, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak, but the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Therefore, thus says the Lord God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you pushed with flank and shoulder and butted at all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide. I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be ravaged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. Please read responsively with me a call to worship and obedience, Psalm 95. I'll read the plain writing and you'll read the bold. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joy. Come on, you guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was looking at the wrong page. <laughs> okay, please forgive me. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to the Lord with psalms. For you, Lord, are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. 
In your hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. So instead of the Thessalonians that's printed in the bulletin there, we're reading from Ephesians, the first chapter, verses 15 through 23. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers, that the Lord, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may perceive what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. I will also read the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 25th chapter, if you'd like to stand for the reading of the Gospel. And we'll recite together the bold there next to the letter C. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew 25, verses 31 through 46. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people, one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, and he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick? Or in prison and visited you and the king will answer them truly i tell you just as you did it to one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine you did it to me then he will say to those at his left hand you who are accursed depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels for i was hungry and you gave me no food i was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink i was a stranger and you did not welcome me naked and you did not give me clothing, sick and in prison and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment but the righteous into eternal life. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Good morning. Can you guys hear me? So I am here to tell you about the fortunate piece. Um, it came into fruition in 2018 
we decided to do a Thanksgiving give back and try to feed some families uh, with my partner and I. Um, we fed about 40 families that year. And we kind of came back to the table in 2019 and said, how can we do it on a grander scale? So we partnered with a nonprofit called YXP. And in 2019, we served around 200 guests. So they got a hot meal. We gave them a gift distribution so families could come in that didn't have any money, didn't have any supplies to wrap their presents, decorations. We gave them Christmas trees. Um, and that was really successful. 2020, we've seen 450 guests. In 2021, we served 650 families. 22, um, we had 450 families that we fed. Of course, last year was a little tricky because it was rainy and we had to bring kind of everybody inside um, into the Oak Park Community Center. So we base it out of there. And so this year, our goal is to serve 700 families. Um, we will do a gift distribution. We're also giving Christmas trees. We're going to be doing it on December 16th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Again, at the Oak Park Community Center. And um, we are asking for physical donations, volunteering, any money toward anything is also very helpful so we can get supplies as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually really happy to share this with you guys. So if you guys feel inclined to go there, I'll be very happy to have you guys. Uh, just a, um, how did we get involved? Yeah, a friend of mine who used to work for a magazine that I used to write for, we just kind of wanted to do something trying to give back. And so we created just a turkey donation um, and some, some food for the families. And um, returning back in 2019, we decided to work with a company called YXP, which is a nonprofit. So they already had a really good following. Um, and because they do donations, we do, um, we were given three mammograms that day too for women. So we just kind of grew into this really big event that we put on every year now. We bring things to donate. Um, I can pick them up here if you guys want to take them here and then I can bring them day of. Okay. Um, food also, of course, is very helpful because we try to give them a warm meal. Um, of course, pricing on food, you know, year after year, it's a little bit more expensive every year, so it's kind of hard to serve a big family. Is it just during one time a year? Yes, just one time a year that we put on the kitchen. Um, so any from anywhere from kids' clothing, brand new toys, bicycles, um, women got perfume, um, jackets, men got shave kits, all kinds of Yes, all right. Mm -hmm. In the morning from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I actually have teamed up with 10 different local chefs from different restaurants here in the uh, city. And so they actually cook everything, bring it down to the community center, and then we serve it right there. So the extra money then would go to paying the chefs that Food, prepare well, no, they do everything is completely volunteer they do it to yeah. volunteer nice so it goes for like the cost of turkeys i know turkeys are kind of hard and take a lot of time to cook so this year we're kind of pushing for chicken you know roasted chickens and um have them cook them cut everything up and bring them outside perfect so we need people oh um who, if, if you guys want to volunteer, what would you be doing? Um, anywhere from serving the hot food, um, packaging, uh, bags of gift wrap, tapes, things of that nature, um, helping people walk out to the cars, ushering them in. Starbucks always is very helpful and they give cookies and coffee. So we need people to serve that as well. Just, we got a whole bunch going on. I know, um, uh, handing out gift cards. We have Santa show up, so we need people to do taking pictures with Santa, um, helping the kids pick out toys. You know, it gets kind of overwhelming when the parents are trying to walk with the kids and also get all of the goodies that they're receiving. So, helping with the kids as well is what we appreciate. Mm, we at least 40. Last year we had 55. It was kind of a little more than we needed, but um, more than a year, of course. 
anything else? Well, thank you guys for letting me share. I appreciate it. And Jackie will be at our women's meeting um, this afternoon after uh, after the service. Um, the women of the church are having their um, I don't know what we call it preparing meeting <laughs> to get ready for some of the projects we have through the rest of the year. So please make sure that you stay for those. And the other nice thing is that Jackie's um, been able to get us. Um, a hookup, for lack of a better word, um, with uh, catering our 80th anniversary celebration on November 19th. So it's her um, network that will be able to prepare uh, the food for our thank offering and uh, Thanksgiving feast that we'll have here at the church for um, previous members and um, current members. So I do need a count um, of how many people are planning to attend on November 19th so that we can get that to Jackie. Okay. Yeah. It's buffet, but it'll be a Thanksgiving base. It'll be turkey, potatoes, and veggies. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So it is... We're starting, we're hopefully starting to eat at 1.30ish, okay? Um, just to kind of briefly give you an overview, um, the service that day will be at 11 o'clock as usual. It's the thank offering service that the women are going to um, present the service. And that'll be in from 11 to 12. Then from 12 to 12.30 will be just a break. We'll probably have coffee and cookies in the back until we start our program at 12.30 um, to do the celebration portion of our anniversary. Then once that's over, we're gonna try and keep it to an hour. Um, and then the, it'll be like a late Sunday supper or late lunch Sunday supper kind of a meal. And Jackie's the one that we're going to be um, using to, to make sure that happens. And so that money is actually going to go to a good cause as well. So, and that's being covered by women of the church as long as y'all vote for that this afternoon. So that's one of the reasons you need to be there. There we go. All right. Yes, WELCA. Women of the ELCA, we call it WELCA for short, but um, it's basically the women who help to... Um, run the church um, in, in areas where extra help is needed and also um, reach out to our community. Okay. And so thank you very much, Jackie, for that. All right. So um, isn't this kind of wonderful how the Holy Spirit works? And we've been talking about food and feeding the hungry and it just like flowed right into what Jackie was saying. So now we're going to um, talk about being servants and we're going to sing our hymn of the day, number 659. Will you let me be your servant?
As you notice on the back of the bulletin, it says it's Christ the King Sunday, November 26th, because we are rearranging a little bit of our um, calendar to fit in with the, the anniversary and other things that are happening through the end of the year, um, including Christmas Eve service, where we'll be having two services that year, uh, that day, um, December 24th. Um, in the morning will be the regular service for, um, for Christmas Eve. And then we will also repeat that same service at five o'clock in the evening. So if you can come to one or the other or both, you'll see more details about it. Um, we're shaking things up a little bit. So it's not Christ the King Sunday, the 26th, but everything else is um, fitting with our theme today. And so that's the other reason why we won't be doing a Christ the King service. So um, also too, next week, we are going to be doing All Saints because today is actually All Saints Day. But I would encourage you to also come next week because we're going to be honoring our pastors from the past. So um, please come and join us for that as well. Okay. So if you would please stand as you are able, and we will read together the Apostles' Creed found on page three of your bulletin. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come against the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Let us turn our hearts to God, our breath and life, as we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. I will read in each petition. Hear us, O God, and you would respond, your mercy is great. Holy God, encourage and uphold your church around the world. We thank you for your word, which we receive as holy. Lead bishops, pastors, deacons, and all members of your church in lives worthy of you. Hear us, O oh God. Creating God, revive your creation where it is neglected, misused, or abused. Bolster advocates in eco-justice organizations. Nurture endeavors that aid communities affected by hazardous waste, poor air, and polluted waters. Hear us, O oh God. Holy Advocate, we lift grateful hearts for the ability to vote and elect leaders. Grant wisdom to those who will be elected and safety to poll workers. May civic leaders serve the whole community, especially all who are underrepresented, excuse me, underrepresented or oppressed. Help them remember that they are elected to be servants of all people. Hear us, O oh God. Nurturing one, bring relief to those carrying heavy burdens. We pray for those in difficult home situations, for foster children, and for all who are in jails or prison. Strengthen those burdened by chronic pain, grief, or other illness. Bless those named on our prayer list found in the back of our bulletins and those named now aloud or in our hearts. Hear us, O oh God. Welcoming God, accompany those in new and unfamiliar places who need an invitation to community. We pray especially for any who have recently moved to start their first year of college, 
a new job, a missionary position in another land, refugees, and asylum seekers. Hear us, O God. Eternal God, you unite all the faithful in at your heavenly feast. We remember your saints gathered in your eternal presence, especially all who have died in the past year. Hear us, O God. We offer our spoken prayers and those held in our hearts, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of an everlasting life. And so, with the all the angels, all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth, burning with justice, peace, and love. For as we often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We will join together in uh, reciting the words of institution. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying, this is the cup of new shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us now pray together the Lord's prayer. The Lord had the prayer that our Lord has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You can bring your offerings to the basket in the back as you after you've taken communion. And um, the communion elements have been blessed by Pastor Diane. So we will be doing a real community communion today. Let us then recite the offering prayer. God of all goodness, generations have turned to you, gathered around your table, and shared your abundant blessings. Number us among them that as we gather these gifts from your abundance, and give thanks for your rich blessings. We may feast upon your very self and care for all that you have made through Jesus Christ, our Lord and servant. Amen. There is a place for you at the banquet. Come and feast at Jesus' table. You may be seated. She doesn't think I'm saying that. Oh. 
my only way to be home. Is that God calling? 
All right, if you would please join me, I'm going to um, now pray the uh, post-communion prayer found on page seven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in this simple meal, you have set a banquet. Sustain us on the journey. Strengthen us to care for the least of your beloved children and give us glad and generous hearts as we meet you on the way. Amen. Receive the blessing of the day. May the God of all creation, whose image we are made, who claims us and calls us beloved, who strengthens us for service, give you a reason to rejoice and be glad. The blessing of God, sovereign, Savior, and Spirit will be with you today and always. Amen. Our uh, sending hymn today is By Your Hand, You Feed Your People, number 469. You can stand if, if you would like. You may be seated, and we will discuss our opportunities for ministry, which you'll find on page eight. Um, again, busy, busy time of the year, but what I love about this church is it's all about outreach. It's all about serving our community. Um, and the other good thing is it's Coffee Fellowship Sunday, so I know there's yummy good things back there. Please stay, and we can get to know uh, some of our visitors. That would be nice. Um, so today is our women's meeting, our welcome meeting, following the service. So we'll probably eat a little something and then get the meeting started pretty quickly. Um, so as I said earlier, we're going to be celebrating All Saints Sunday next week, November 12th. And we'll have special liturgy and special um, honoring uh, some of our past pastors who have passed away. And you are encouraged to also bring the names of anyone that you would like to honor as a saint. November 19th, that's the big anniversary thing that I talked about earlier today. And the schedule of that is at the lower section there on page eight. And then... 
happen. November 26th is when we're going to start Advent, which is supposed to be Christ the King. <laughs> but we're mixing it up, like I said, so that the four Sundays of Advent don't coincide with our um, Christmas Eve service. So we'll start Advent just a little bit early. And then on Thursday, Thanksgiving morning, uh, November 23rd, we're again, uh, the rest stop for the run to feed the hungry, which is um, outreach to uh, Sacramento Food Bank. And Laura, what time does everybody need to be here? Yes. Do we know what time the streets are shutting down? Uh, Nate, you need to be here before 8.30? That might be too late. Okay. We'll have more details for that then we'll, at next Sunday. And then they publish it. That's true. If you go to the Sacramento Food Bank um, website or even... Uh, I think they even have their own page for Run to Feed the Hungry. Yeah. Between 7.30 and 8 before things close down. Okay. I know. I Well, as soon as I get the information, I know. Okay. So we're going to be passing out tangerines or cuties. We already have that purchased. We have um, restrooms that are coming to be in the parking lot so that there's enough available for everyone. And if you can be here between 7.30 and 8, because I think we are at kind of near the end of the trail, so to speak. So, um, but you may not be able to get into the parking lot if the streets are blocked off. So try and be here a little bit earlier to do that. And we have a band, again, our um, band is coming to entertain. Yes, Kate. Okay. Only the 5K comes by here. But you can't get across anywhere, so try and be here at 7.30 before they take off at 8.15. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Julie's offered her home to park at. She's four blocks away at 50th and H. So. <laughs> Sue wants donuts and coffee. All right. Sounds good. We're getting up that early. Scones is even better. Excellent. We'll have to stretch out our stomach so that by the time, you know, turkey comes and we're ready to eat the turkey. Okay. Okay, good. Right. Right, there's room for parking on H and 50th. Thank you. Um, any questions about any of the announcements? Oh, yes, our chairman of our crazy um, Halloween, uh, just kind of give you a report on that. We um, decorated the church as Pirate's Cove and we passed out every piece of candy. There was no candy left. There were no little coins left there we had wa bottles of water almost all of those are totally gone that was how many did you buy craig 400 bottles so that was almost all gone uh, there were just tons and tons and tons of people and it was so much fun courtney ran a um spin the wheel and and win a prize there were people lined up down the street to spin this wheel and get these Goofy carnival prizes. And uh, there were adults in that line. I mean, it was just amazing. But I think the kids all had a great time. It was 
a safe place. It kind of showed how our church does so much for the community. And so many people said, oh, this was wonderful. I just feel so comfortable here. And the really cool thing I have to share with you is a young man was talking with Pastor. She was an excellent pirate costume. And she was sitting over here outside of her office and talking about the church. And the young man said, do you baptize at your church? And pastor said, oh, yes, we do. Yes, we definitely do. And he said, I want to get baptized. And pastor said, no time like the present. And she grabbed one of the bottles of water, which had a label on it that said living water, um, courtesy of the little church on the corner, and gave our time for our services and the name you know, through the Lutheran Church of the Cross. And she opened the bottle. She came over to me and she said, I'm going to baptize this young man. And I said, okay. And she opens the bottle and she sprinkles some water on her hand and makes the sign of a cross on his forehead, gave him a huge hug and told him how much he was a child of God. And I just about lost it. <laughs> It was amazing. It, and, you know, whether he lives in our neighborhood, whether he lives across town, whatever his situation is, he knows that people here at Cross care. And I just wanted to thank everybody that helped with that event because we could not have put it together um, without everybody. So thank you so much. Yes, dear. True. Absolutely. Julie and Jerry were at the very front. They were in, in the ocean area. We had a mermaid table and a Jonah and the whale table. And um, Courtney was at the Ezekiel bones table. So we did have a little Bible little scripture in there with it, without beating people over the head with it. And um, yes, they got to meet us, but we also got to meet them. And that's what it's about, spreading the word. Thank you, Julie. All right. Any other announcements? Everybody good? All right. Then um, let's go into the sharing of the piece. Please stand as you are able. Beloved of God, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God fill you with all joy and hope in believing. And may the peace of Christ be with you all. Let us share the peace of Christ as we lead today. And go back and have goodies.